that's maybe at some point. Yes. Yeah, well, almost like gravestones, but I don't think they are. Like a rock wall. Best angle. I'm doing a walk by shot, which is oh, quite embarrassing <laughs> for YouTube. No, I don't, no. That's why I tend to walk alone, because <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> Parole point, Devon's most southerly point. Little visitor centre here. I think that is the uh, boat I saw in uh, Plymouth the other day. HMS Darling Type 45 Destroyer. Close up then. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Seals, These little black bits around the kayaker. This is the remains of Hall Sands, where uh, in 1917 some cottages were swept into the sea, fell into the sea with a rock slip, and uh, the town after that was deserted and people were moved on. Looking back towards the lighthouse at Start Point. Alright guys, this is the evening, um, I don't think I did an introduction video today so this will probably be my introduction for the day, um, I packed up everything wet this morning, the tent was soaked, there was really heavy mist and dew in the air, um, everything is now drying about the place, um, so what happened today, um, yeah uh, decided to walk down into Salcombe a couple of miles, a couple of bonus miles there. Uh, wasn't sure about what time the buses were running. Um, bear with me. So I wasn't sure what time the buses were running. Um, so I just decided to walk down. It's probably an extra couple of miles. Um, I was hoping to go up early and get the 8am ferry, but it turns out the ferryman didn't start till 9, so it worked out perfectly actually. Um, absolutely beautiful again the other side of Solcombe uh, quite a tough up and down to start with then it leveled out a bit some farmers fields um, more gradual ascents and descents um, 
and her plan initially was to get to Stoke Fleming <clears throat> but now I'm here at <clears throat> oh don't know can't remember see <laughs> see subtitles um, Stoke Fleming's another four five miles <coughs> Stoke Fleming's another four or five miles um, and it's actually been a beautiful lovely sort of hot warm day and I think I got to the first place that I could find a campsite um, and thought yeah that's enough um, 20 minutes walk up the road I'll walk back down um, the pub's fully booked out so I'll go there is a takeaway there Aston they're open till half eight so I'll get a takeaway and just maybe some beers from the pub and then come back um, gorgeous evening uh, Beryl's campsite very nice um, really quaint uh, remember your 20p's for the showers um, she's they're, they're very big sites they're very big plots so she wasn't too impressed that I was a hiker but she did give it me a um, half right um so can't say fairer than that um yeah not much commentary for the day because i ended up walking with somebody um that i've been bumping into here and there you probably spot her briefly in the videos all right guys so back in the tent uh, wrap up video for day whatever this is day from Sorkham to Beeston something like that trying to get to Stoke Fleming didn't make it uh, I went down to the town town like tiny little hamlet um, pub uh, fully booked up for weeks apparently amazing food there can't get in for love nor money but they did do drinks outside which was fine and then there was a little takeaway fish and chips sort of shack on on the beach as well and that was amazing some of the best fish and chips I have ever had uh, if I can find the name of it I'll try and put it here uh, so uh, back to 10 quite early quarter to eight sun sort of set in most of my stuff's half dry today I think that's the first time actually my stuff's been dry for days it's been damp either through sweat or rain um, so yeah I'm gonna watch the footy on my phone and call it a night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, I've got to make up a good four miles or so tomorrow. So I think tomorrow and the day after are going to be 20 pluses. Tomorrow I'm going to try and make it to Brixham um, and then Brixham to you know, somewhere else, Dawlish way. So here goes. Thank you.